Hi, I'm Kevin Bales. I'm the Professor of Contemporary Slavery at the Wilberforce Institute for the Study of Slavery and Emancipation at the University of Hull. And I'm the Principal Investigator of the AHRC-funded Anti-Slavery Usable Past Project. Uh, it's a very exciting project that we're involved with, with a lot of participants at Nottingham and uh, Queen's University Belfast and a lot of NGO partners as well. My part of this uh, larger project is, of course, part of the management team, uh, helping to provide the leadership, but some things that I'm very excited about personally. One is a book that will be about the relationship between slavery and conflict. It's very interesting that throughout all of human history, war has been a mechanism for taking people into slavery, but very few inquiries have been made about how that relationship works both in the ancient world and in the world today, say in Iraq or uh, the, the armies of ISIS, the way they're taking people into slavery today. It's also the case that we're doing a lot of outreach work that has to do with bringing the past of anti-slavery to the present. A good example of this is the work that we're doing in Richmond, Virginia. The Richmond, Virginia was the capital of the Confederate States of America, and it was also a very lively slave trading port. There, there is a slave trail, which has a strong historical focus, but we're going to bring to it an understanding of contemporary slavery in the United States today, in Virginia, the state of Virginia today, and even in the city of Richmond today. So it will be bringing that past and present together in the understanding of slavery in the capital of the old Confederacy. We're also going to be looking at slavery that occurred in the Congo at the end of the 19th century, early 20th century. It was a very extensive slavery there under the Belgian colonial King Leopold regime. It led to a large anti-slavery campaign that stretched across Britain, the United States, Western Europe, and other parts of the world. It was documented in ways that had never been done before, in which Photography was used to show the atrocities and the crimes against nature, against humanity that were committed there. But interestingly, the Congo today is torn apart by civil wars again. It's full of slavery again, often serving global economic and commercial interests. And the people of the Congo today have no real memory of the slavery there of the past, in spite of the fact that, that it was so well documented. We're wanting to take photographs taken by an amazing woman named Alice Seeley Harris back to the Congo and let people there see their own slavery and anti-slavery past in a new way. And finally, as part of our anti-slavery useful past project, we have an extensive amount of work that we're going, doing with the anti-slavery organizations, the anti-slavery movement, the anti-slavery campaigns of today. So we'll be working with groups like Love 146, Anti-Slavery International, the American group Free the Slaves, the Unseen Organization, the Unchosen Organization, all of these groups working at grassroots level, some raising awareness, some providing therapeutic and rehabilitative support for people who have come out of slavery, and some actually doing the act of liberation on the ground. Now, for a bunch of academics, I've got to say, to be able to know that we can start on one hand with an intellectual approach, and at the other end of, the, of our work, know that people are truly coming to freedom, well, that's an outcome I think we're all very excited about.